I'm recording. I'm recording. Would you like to come to what you thought? No. You never know. Like we said this last weekend. I know. I know. Yeah. Oh, did you go to the I don't know. 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 I don't so, what, did you enjoy it? Yeah. Oh, it was yes. sounded really gripping. And so powerful. Yes. So powerful. Was and there so anything that you related to in there, or any stories that you knew of, or anything? Well, some of the stories we knew. Yeah. I really. I'm the child of a Holocaust survivor, right. so I only know that sort of part of the history. Mm -hmm. So to hear from the sort of Allied side and. And to hear what, how much effort went into it and all that sort of thing was just an incredible perspective and, you know, sort of new to me and very meaningful, very meaningful. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. There's a few that just went far from the way down there. Fantastic. So, have you thought about when you were watching it, what you felt? Or? It was brilliant. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was terrific. What, what part did you enjoy the most? Uh, not in which one particular story. It was yeah. just a, which is the way he presented it. Yeah, exactly. And um, it was just, I suddenly was just taken into into who he was. It was incredible. Yeah, feel the emotion of it. it yeah, yeah. So, what would you say to someone who was thinking of coming? Oh, absolutely. Come without a doubt. Yeah. It's fantastic. Um, the other thing I wanted to know is, is there anybody in your history that there was any stories that you could relate to that you've been told that might have been going down through their generations or something? Is that what brought you here? No, 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 no. no not no, really, no. No. I don't, I don't have any particular link with anyone no. like that. It was just, uh, you know, he liked Michael Beach for so long. Yeah. And it just, it just, I just had the anticipation, I suppose, that he was going to do a, a great story. So. Yeah. Which he did. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very like your experience tonight and, and what you thought of the show. Um, well, we love the show. We love the show. <laughs> and the director is just brilliant. <laughs> so what would you say to someone who is thinking of coming to this show? Oh, don't miss it. Don't oh, miss it. No, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an era that is disappearing quickly and for Michael and Helen to capture that so beautifully, yeah, it was just yeah, a, a great privilege. To, to hear the stories. And we were wondering, is there any history that you could relate to directly in your family or someone's been told any stories that you could relate to? Not really, no. Dads were in the war, but they didn't really talk about their stories. No. So, yeah. 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 It's relatable to today, though, with what's happening. Um, so, and, and how you just, people just do, you know, what they've sort of the duty is with it but there's all these consequences that as the one of the uh, the last men said uh, he thought about it later and he, he didn't want to do that uh, so that happens today and the wars don't stop Vietnam Vietnam Afghanistan yeah, they don't stop sadly thank you <laughs> it was very interesting to have those guys who actually Oh, I know. That, that was quite they were. Kate, what about the first gentleman at the end? Would you mind? Sorry, what about the play that you just saw, yeah. would you mind making some comments to the camera about what you thought of your thoughts? Are you alright? Uh, yeah, I read the book. Oh, you did? You read the book? <laughs> and what, what, if you were going to tell someone to come and see the play, what would you say to them? See it. Yeah? What did you enjoy? Oh, it just put together so well. And it, it, was there anything that was personally relatable to you? Any stories? I, I did volunteer at the end of the war, but they threw me out. <laughs> so it was uh, 
brought back a few memories, you know, the, of the time. Anything particular? We're going to archive some of this, so if there was anything specific... I always, you know. always wanted to fly the Lancaster. Did you fly in anything? Or? Uh, by the time I got there, it was too late. They said, bugger off, we got too many. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that gentleman over there. Yes, having some comments about what you thought of the play tonight to come, would you mind? We, it's, we just got an archive. We look very enthusiastic to do it. Oh, really? Just okay. a few words. What would you, I'll go again, what would you mind to say? So what did you think of it? It's fantastic. What did you enjoy? Uh, I guess it, it felt like you were actually hearing the, the men tell their stories. And um, if you were going to tell someone or ask someone to come to the play, what would you say? Just come. It's, it's great. Fantastic. If, you, if you're sort of at all interested in that bit of history or airplanes or whatever, you just... Why did you come? Because I'm interested in <laughs> that era and, uh, and, and the history of it, yeah. Yeah. Were you one of the gentlemen who was calling out the... No, 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 I'm not, a, not an airplane nerd, just, just kind of interested in the history of, that, of the Second War. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. And, and the other thing is that the audience says that you've got like seven minutes to, to get the right so. So my great uncle George Smith, uh, my grandmother's eldest brother, uh, was a wireless air gunner during the, the Second World War, um, and he had told us bits and stories and all that sort of stuff. Um, but he passed away earlier this year, um, and then my grandmother had gave me a call and said, "Uncle George is in the book," and I went, "What?" Um, and it turned out that it was Michael's, Michael's book. And um, so I picked the book up and I started flicking through it and saw the photo of Uncle George as a young man in his uniform. I went, oh. And then it turns out Uncle George was the first chapter in the book as well. Um, Uncle George, he passed away the start of this year and Michael was actually at the funeral. Um, so I couldn't make it because of other stuff. But yeah, it was just really interesting and just having the ability to read these stories that he's put through together in these different books about something that I've always been very interested in. Um, and part really in, in part Uncle George and his stories was what led me to joining the Air Force myself. Um, yeah, so yeah. Really? Thank you very much. I was the one calling out all the names. Oh, good on you. So, <laughs> good on you. Um, We're playing that. I brought this. Yeah. Um, because. That gentleman there is my great uncle, George Smith. Oh, okay. okay. So I got the phone call from my grandmother to say that Uncle George was in a book. And I was like, Were you at his funeral? No, I couldn't, I couldn't make it. Funeral. But uh, yeah, oh, I, I George is wonderful. had been told all these stories about him. Like you know, when he said, "Oh, you know, did I tell you about the time of the two six two attacks?" No, and then he didn't really tell us a huge amount, and then. Um, we got a DVD, for, he went. He did a, an interview with the Tomorrow Aviation Museum. Yes, yes, And yes. I saw the DVD and he started talking about the second and third plots that he'd done where, you know, the, the crash landing in France and being told, you know, well, we were going to send a letter to your parents to say that you're not coming back. And I was just like, where has this come from? Like, 
wow. you know, but th th those little bits and pieces that he told me when I was a kid at all yeah. the family gatherings, like, because there was all the other kids involved, so my grandmother was there, my grandkids would be there, and Uncle George would tell us little bits and pieces, and that led me to, to wanting to know more about the Air Force and actually joining the Air Force myself. Okay, so which you did? I did. Um, I spent 12 and a half years full time and yeah. just to do some reserve stuff, but oh, okay. I ended up um, becoming an imagery intelligence analyst, and when they reformed 460 Squadron, yeah. we were formed as 460 Squadron. Oh, so God. the first dining in night and the reformation parade, we had the 460 veterans there from New South Wales. Really? Oh, what a night that was. Yeah. And that night, sitting there opposite guys, the, 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 these, these gentlemen, and you know, they're saying, oh, what, what flight are you in? I was in sea flight at the time for 460 Squadron. <laughs> They just sort of looked at each other, they'd known each other so long, we, both, we were sea flying. Right. And it was just that, oh, and off oh. we went from there, you know, and then telling the stories, the same same sort of thing that they told you, the animation, and the pauses, and the, the, that, that, that silence as they kind of went off in that spot, and you just like, you know, they tell you so much. Um, I came down for an odd bods meeting, Uncle George said, right, you're here in uniform, you've got to do a, a talk. So it was Anzac Day. And I got invited to the, the, the um, Oddbods Association yeah. lunch. So he's gone right over, okay, yeah. standing up, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Started talking about stuff and I said, I don't know how you guys did what you did at the time. Yeah. And then they turned around and said, because I'd, I'd done some stuff with Afghanistan and, that, and they said, well, we don't know how you did what you did. Right. So I did four rotations through there. And all that. Did you really? And then, yeah, it was just one of those one of those things that there was that connection that they had done something that was I viewed as so much greater than what yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd ever done. And then they looked at me and kind of, well, no, you did something that was, we wouldn't have done. That's that. right. So, and it, it, it takes, that's why I did it, because their modesty just takes a breath away, yep. doesn't it? Yep. And yours, too. <laughs> but people were just sort of called upon to do things. Yeah. And uh, I know, I, 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 they didn't think they were anything special. Uh, yeah. We do. And they the support that we do. And you're, 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 uh, George was special too. Wonderful man. He was terrific. Yes, he was um, just a gentleman. Such a gentleman. And uh, such a humanitarian as well. Yeah. And such compassion. He was a lovely man. Uh, uh, I said, Shama, I, I, I didn't do George. I think I was. Well, no, you see, because this is the most recent book. Yes. And. Um, uh, the stage play is based on the first two books. Yes. Yeah, I've got both of those. I've listened to them to death. Um, <laughs> I had them as audio books overseas. Oh, did you? Well, so, yeah. <laughs> great. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's great. Um, I, I, I should sign that for you. I was going to say, I've got a... Funnily enough, my friend has a pen, so... Oh, terrific. Uh, Daniel, Daniel. 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 So, yeah. <laughs> Dedicated to, and he was your great uncle. Great wasn't uncle, he? George. Yeah. I'm a, obviously on my mother's side. Um, yes. But my, it's funny. Um, some of the stories he'd spoken about when they did the manor operations not working. Um, my father was Dutch, and his parents actually had the manor drops oh. when they were kids over because they were there for the occupation. Okay. So okay. there's yeah. <laughs> God. George was in two tap, wasn't he? Yes. One eighty squad. Yeah, that's right. Just, you know, as I said, it was you know they just bring out these little stories. And, you know, well, especially that that one with the two six two always stuck with me because it was just like, wow, you that that happened. And um, it was one of those things that he said, you know, by the time I turned the turret around, he was gone. <laughs> Thank you thank very you. much. Thank, thank you. you very much. Great to meet you. And that was that was really, really, really good. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. But, um, <laughs> Thanks for the um, audience participation. <laughs> it was really good. It's great. It's just, yeah, I, I suppose as a fellow, I've covered it. It's yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. You, you, you got the name chest. Awesome. Double whammy. I'm friends with Daniel. Okay. Hello. Nice work nice with Alex. So. Oh, terrific. Yes. Terrific. Um, really good to have um, our great um, Donald McDonald. He flew the, I think it's like this, the Bob yeah. McLean's. Oh, so okay. That was he's, a the 90, he's 95 now. Is he still going? Yeah, he? mm, he's still alive. I don't know whether you've met him. So that would be Where nice. Is he? But, um, Where is he? Well, Doncaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I get him? You certainly can. Oh, yeah. really? I'd, yeah. I'd love to bring him. I'd like to bring him tomorrow, actually. Um, You're not on tomorrow. Oh, so it's not going. No, I thought I was in going. The, oh. This was only a year. Oh. oh. That's all right, because I was going to get him up here. My dad's oh, worried. Okay. Okay. My dad's up well, there, so I thought the both of well, them. Well, well before he shows, goes... Talk to Helen with the other shows up. Yeah, we're really Yeah, there are, there are a few... Yeah. Yeah, we've got three more shows. Cadinia, oh, which Cadinia. is not oh, far from Doncaster. That's good, that's my dad's worried. Yeah, and Cadinia, Cadinia bring in is in the Packing away, isn't it? 12th. And I think it's like a morning one, like 11 a.m. or something. Yeah. 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 So that could be. Ah, but ask oh, Helen. Better. Ask Helen. She'll know yeah. about. Yeah. yeah, no, we can. So, yeah. yeah so he, so because he did a on Anzac. Um, no, we have a family reunion sort of day. Yeah. And he did a yeah. big spiel. He got awarded something yeah. that, in France. Like He's that. got the medal, oh, the medal cross. Legion of Honor. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so he was yeah, talking about that. It's quite emotional actually. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. So he's very willing to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to have a chat yeah. with him. I just wonder with him. Could you give his details to Helen? Yeah. I'll and, find out uh, from my dad. But, but, but if, if we're coming along, yeah, I'd yeah. love to meet him. Yes, yeah. be good. Yeah. It'd be lovely, yeah. It's wonderful. It's good. Oh, no. Thank you, mate. You should do so one for the Vietnam veterans as well. I could yeah. Maybe yes. I know. My dad's very excited. And trick all those moves. You, I'm sorry if you heard laughing in the audience, but all those different moves were, were just brilliant because they're all got their own mannerisms. But yeah. the stories are wonderful, yeah, and they've kept, kept them hidden for a long time. A lot of them, it's about when they express yeah. them, it's, it's a healing time. And um, yeah, 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 my dad's just doing that now. Great. Yeah, we never used to talk about as kids with well, Vietnam. So. If you are, I'd love him to come along. Mm, yeah, certainly. I will. Yeah, yeah, no, so, yeah. Right. Brilliant job. Brilliant. Great. <laughs>